A seven ton race course suspended from the arena ceiling. The entire surface made up of Velcro where contenders will meet an American Gladiator in a disorienting upside down all fours dash to the finish line. Technique, well Larry I know you have a few sage ideas on what it takes to do well here. Hands for speed, feet for control. Now the object of Skytrack is to race from the start line all the way down through the track to the turnaround point. Then head for home the same way until you cross the finish line. A contender wins, it's worth 10 points. You finish second, you get five. Again, this is a race. The Gladiator essentially the pace setter. It'll be Clifton Miller in lane one. Viper the Gladiator in lane two. Lance Sellers will be in lane three. This is Skytrack for the first time. Looks like Lance Sellers may have jumped the gun just a bit, but Clifton Miller is on a tear. He's in lane one, the contender, Viper behind him. Clifton, the electronic technicians aboard the aircraft carrier, Theodore Roosevelt, an outstanding athlete, very quick in midair, upside down. He's the first to make the turn. Lance has made up some ground. Here comes Viper. This is good stuff, Larry. Head to head, look at the form on Viper, got his head way back. He's not utilizing his feet like he should, but he's using that upper, power, upper body power. This finish is gonna be close. Viper and Clifton Miller side by side. Cliff Miller, the first man across the finish line. He beats Viper, but just by a nose, he gets to 10 points. And what a wild event. The secret is to utilize your hands and your feet. And right here, Cliff gives us a demonstration in that. Viper letting his legs hang. Cliff in a photo finish. One of the things that makes Skytrack so unique, in addition to being suspended from the arena ceiling, is the fact that the surface is covered entirely by Velcro. Yeah, and we have a piece of the Skytrack Velcro right here. I have the Velcro glove the contenders wear. Check this out. How's that? Nice and tight. If you like that traction, how about this? Dwight Clark. High, High five. five. <laughs> This stuff sticks, believe me. Resetting the lane assignments. Wes Berry, lane one, turbo lane two, Troy Jackson, lane three. Referee Larry Thompson with the whistle, the race is on. If the contender can beat the Gladiator, it is worth 10 big points. And the man who negotiates the curves, the turns the best, will be the winner. Troy and Turbo touch the turnaround point at the same time. What the race. Could be mighty close. Right now, Troy Jackson with the edge. It's on the outside lane, though. Here they come down the final straightaway. Oh, it's going to be Troy Jackson. The first contender across. He beats Turbo and gets 10 points here in our grand championship. Wesley Berry never did get it going. And for Turbo, his first defeat of the year. Not by much, though. Here's a look at the finish. Troy Jackson regains the lead. On to the women we go. Kim Tyler, just two scant points behind Peggy Odita. The Peganator will be in lane one. In lane two, our Gladiator Siren. She can smoke this course in a big way. Lane three, Kim Tyler. The aerospace technician. Takes the early lead. Watch Siren pump. Hands and feet makes it look so easy. Always moving, Lisa. That's the secret in Skytrack. And she's got that swimmer's flip turn. She I is eating up the real estate once again. Now it's a race between Kim and Peggy O to see who can pick up the five contender points for being the second person to cross. Meanwhile, this race belongs to Siren. This event belongs to Siren. And there goes Kim. So Kim will get five points to take a 15-12 lead. And Siren is a real monster in this game. Great, two years and Collins will be in lane one. Kid Flash, lane two, our Gladiator Saber in lane three, our former All-American in track and field, Mark Keyboard. The course made up entirely of Velcro. The contenders and Gladiator with Velcro gloves and shoes. All three men fast out of the blocks. 
But right now, it is Dwayne Collins, Kid Flash, with the early lead. Sabre hot on his tail, though. He's got that inside track, and all three of them are even now. And Mark Keyboard has made the surge. He is the first to touch the sensor at the turnaround point. Look at Mark go. Looks like he's getting a little tired there, Mike. Now he's got his feet going again. There we go. Proper Sable's ball. getting a lot tired. The key for the contenders and the gladiator, keep as much body contact as you can with that Velcro surface. Mark getting very close to the finish line. He wins it. He wins it. Dwayne Collins finishes second. So Mark Keyboard gets 10 and Dwayne Collins five in a pretty hotly contested sky track race. And here's a look at how the race developed. Dwayne Collins clearly in the lead. Mark Keyboard though on the inside track making his mark, Mike. And watch what happened when they reached the turnaround point. It was Keyboard who actually touches first as Dwayne got hung up and that was the difference. Our women are buckled up for safety and set to go in their sky track race. Carla Shears with a five point lead over Bernie Wooster coming into this event. There's Zap giving us a confident wave. Next to her, Bernie Wooster. She says she's number one. She loves this event, but we'll see. Bernie in lane three, the Zapster in lane two, and Carla in white in lane one. Ready, ready. But both Bernie and Carla looking good early on. You know, Mike, I raced against Bernie in one of the scrimmages, and she kicked my butt. And Zap right now, this is something of an upset, that's for sure. Trailing in third. Bernie the first to hit the touchline at the turnaround point. Now Carla. This is going to be a close finish. It depends on who negotiates the curves the best. Here comes Zap with a finishing kick. Bernie Wooster all alone on that outside lane, lane three. She is going to get the 10 points as she crosses the finish line first. Zap finished second. Carla still hung up midway on the course. Grit and determination, the watchwords for Bernie Wooster. Her secret in Skytrack, constant contact, both hands and feet with that Velcro surface. She's Upside down and ready to roll. Our women set for Skytrack. Lane one, Deanna Toybo. Lane two, our gladiators at lane three, Carla Shares. This is Carla's chance for redemption. She lost to Zap in the seating round. She meets her again today. Zap may have jumped the gun just a hair. Pumping very well. Right now it's all Zap, but here comes Carla in lane three in the black uniform. She's got a chance. It depends on how she negotiates this last turn, but she's on the outside. Sort of an optical illusion there. Zap will win it, but Carla Shares does pick up five points for being the first contender across. So Carla is now in the lead, and here comes Deanna. She's shut out, but she did manage to cross the finish line. Way to go. So Carla able to break a tie. Let's see if the men can do the same thing as Mark and Troy are knotted at five coming into this event. Troy Jackson with that gymnastics background. That should serve him well here. He is in lane one. Man from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In lane two, our gladiator saver, lane three, Mark Keyboard. Rematch for Saber and Mark Keyboard. Mark winning this event in the seating round. But right now it's Troy Jackson in lane one who's got a healthy lead on the rest of the field. Ooh, got hung up there at that last curve going into the turnaround point. He is the first to reach it. Saber is right on his tail, however. This could be mighty close. Who's it gonna be? They're headed for home. It's Saber and Troy Jackson. Troy can hang on across the finish oh, line. Nice he does. Job. He gets 10 points. 
And it looked like that gymnastics background did pay off. Very comfortable in midair. Hands and feet in perfect synchronization. And now he's back on the ground with Lisa. Troy, that actually looks like a lot of fun. And it looks pretty it easy, but it, it probably isn't quite as no, easy as it looks. Technique. It's, it's fun to be up there. After a while, you feel like you're a roach running on the ceiling. But it's a lot more technique than uh, most people would think. And it's also very, very cardiovascular. <laughs> you're pooped. Yeah, I'm winded. Great job. The winning contender will pick up 10 points. The man who finishes second will get five, and they're off. Spencer Street in lane one, our gladiator, our newest member of our team, Cyclone in lane two, and Willie Cooley in lane three. Right now, it's all Cyclone. Spencer Street said he's right at home in this event. Feels like he's on the floor and everyone else is upside down. They must touch that red line now, turn around again. Spencer Street from Lafayette, Louisiana. 25 years old, tearing it up here. Willie Cooley having his problems. He said he didn't expect to do well in this event. Spencer Street is gonna win going away, and he'll pick up 10 points, despite the best efforts of Cyclone. Willie said this was his worst event. He hates it. We'll look for him in the next event. In fact, he's still finishing the course. <laughs> we may have to send help out to find Willie. Spencer, on the other hand, doing a pretty good job maintaining his balance. He needs to use his feet more in those turns. Can't emphasize that enough. Well, hopefully our women have gotten that advice. Dr. Elizabeth Pepe in lane one, she has a five-point lead over Yvonne Montalvo. Our gladiator, the Zapster, will be in lane two, and our karate instructor from the Bronx, Yvonne, will be in lane three. Gladiator, ready! They're on their marks and set to go. One of the problems of blowing out fast in that straightaway is that once you reach the first bend in this course, you can overdo it and throw yourself into a spin. Right now, Zap having her way. She will be the first to touch that red line. Elizabeth is there as well, and now she has the lead. Dr. Pepe Science says she finds this a little disorienting. But with that pilot's background, obviously she's adapted well. Yvonne having all kinds of problems getting coordinated. Zap. Down the center, she's gonna cross the finish line first. Dr. Elizabeth Pepe will pick up five points for being the first contender across. Mike, both of our contenders are pretty well spent. The Zapster seems to have everything under control. With poor Vaughn, she's still working on making her way in. And as you mentioned earlier, at the outset of this race, everyone's speeding into that first turn and everyone losing control.